Hello everybody and welcome to week 2 of the GXA. I'm Cynthia, your coach of the German Digital Rap Freaks, and today we are having another match against Victory Stars, a good buddy of mine. We just battled him last season in UBA, in playoffs even, I think. Yeah, he, he smashed me in playoffs. Spoiler for those who haven't watched it yet. Um, yeah, and we are battling him. He has a scary team. He is also coach of the goddess Bill Gengar still, and his team consists of Mega Scizor, Terrakion, Hydreigon, Toxapex that he snapped for me, Celebi, Florges, Neuvern, Vicavolt, Colossal, Palosan, and Kangaskhan. Also, I think I'm going to adjust my camera a little bit because. I think this is better, so my head or my face is a bit more in the center, because I've noticed that a lot of times it's down here and that's. that's I have to play a little bit like this, but yeah, I think this should be better, okay. <clears throat> so yeah, scary team, scary team, but I feel pretty confident about, about my chances here, because if you look at my team, we have, we have Mega Brötchen, the Low Pony, and Low Pony outspeeds everything. Uh, 160 Jolly Speed helps us outspeed the Neuvern, which we to a KO with you return. Fire Punch so we can knock out the Scissor. U-turn for momentum and close combat to kill everything else, and return of course for return. Basic stuff, we go in low pony, we kill something, we go out, easy stuff. And we are bulky enough to live a few hits as well. Limbo of course, pre-mega so we can't get paralyzed. The poor man's hall, oh, the Moltres is back, defensively with the heavy reboots, physically defensive because he has a lot of physical threats. Um, Roost, U-turn, mystical fire and scorching sands. Roost, U-turn, basic stuff, Roost for recovery, U-turn for momentum. Mystical Fire so we can function as a special wall as well, dropping the special attack of his special attackers and 1v1ing them. And Scorching Sand so we can um, punish the Colossal coming in if it tries to get, catch a Mystical Fire, because we can Scorching Sand two times and I think it knocks it out, or should. Plus we can freeze for burns. Kabel Salad, the Zerker Tree with Life Orb, Beast Boost, is also here have his premier HP and speed max HP and max special attack because I didn't feel like giving it any speed because the things it outspeeds it outspeeds without any speed and even with max speed it outspeeds it doesn't outspeed a lot more because a lot of the um, speed tiers above it are faster or don't run speed like Florges like who runs speed Florges if you just then GG's to him <laughs> but yeah you have Wall Switch Thunderbolt Energy Ball and Signal Beam with the Life Orb. I was unsure about what item to bring on it, so I decided for Life Orb, because with Life Orb, I think we took a KO um, Florges of Thunderbolt, which is nice. But yeah, just a strong pivoter, because if he tries to go um, Palace Sand on my Volt Switch, and he gets an Energy Ball into the face, if he tries to go Celebi, then he gets a Signal Beam, or otherwise it's just really nice. Really glad that we can use Signal Beam, because otherwise Celebi walls me. <laughs> Not bad man, the Glisco of the Toxic Orb, also physically defensive, because his special attackers don't threaten me that much, because I think Moltres won me once, Blitz Hydreigon, and even... Glisco can decently take it, plus we have low pony to kill Hydrain unless it's Scarf, but if it's Scarf then it misses power, and if it's not Specs then yeah. Defog for hazard removal, U-turn for momentum, Earthquake for stab and for the Colossal and stuff, and Roost for recovery, basic, basic stuff. Plus, with U-turn we can also punish Celebi and Hydreigon if they try to switch in on us to take the Earthquake, and that's overall really nice. Goethe, the Gothitelle, with a choice scarf and shadow tag this time, specially defensive, so we at least have some specially defensive presence to switch into stuff like Neuven. Trick, so we can potentially trap the go the, the, not the Gothitelle, to trap the um, Toxapex, trick the choice scarf on it and make it useless, as... Ah. <laughs> yeah. Apologies. <clears throat> so yeah. So we can trick the Choice Scarf onto something that doesn't really want it. For example, we could potentially trick a Choice Scarf onto a Dragon, take away its Choice Specs and make it so Gliscor and Moltres can wall it and get a Choice Specs that we can then trick on Toxapex or something or trick it on Florges so Florges can wish stall us. Overall pretty nice. Psy Shock so we can 1v1 one one Florges and Toxapex kind of after being tricked because it attacks the physical defense, plus we do some decent damage to Terrakion, and yeah. 
Signal Beam so we don't get walled by Celebi and can take Celebi out in two hits. And Mirror Code is a little surprised because I wasn't sure what to put in on it. Plus, we live with Spec Side Dragon, Dra Dark Pulse, and Mir can Mirror Code it. Actually, we can't. Hmm. We can't actually because Mirror Code doesn't work on Dark Types. That is unfortunate, but we still have Signal Beam to do some damage to. Um. I Dragon, even then, because we live with Specs Dark Poles, but yeah, otherwise Mirror Code kills the Neuvern, does a good chunk to Floor Jazz, kills the Palisand, and does a good chunk to everything else that attacks us especially. So yeah, overall a pretty decent hit and set, and I'm excited, curious how well it does. I just need to make good use of Shadow Type, plus, I know his Toxapex is gonna be Shed Shell, I just know it. <laughs> so I'm gonna be careful about that. And then we have Palm Snap the second, the water type that was left after Palm Snap my other two, also special defensive to have some presence because we already have two physical defensive mons here, I have two special defensive mons, Wish so we can potentially heat up a Gothitelle to have it be around a little longer, Toxic to wear down his mons, Skull to wear down his mons and to burn and Protect to scout and Wish. And yep, yeah, that's really everything, everyone's still recording, oh, wonderful. Okay, then let's close this. Make sure that our sets are in this. Yep, they are. Okay, then we select the team. Do, 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 that is the team. And challenge. Volume ship. National deck, so. Well, then I. Okay, <laughs> I was confused for a bit. Have fun, bud. <laughs> Why am I making big noises when I laugh? So, uh, I'm babbling. Bloop. So, link is sent. So, he also brought a pretty bulky team against me. I can already assume it. Scizor is gonna be bulky offensive, Terrakian is gonna be offensive, Hydreigon is gonna be physically, especially offensive, physically offensive, physically bulky defensive, and those are all gonna be defensive. Because I assume he likes having a balance, so it's probably gonna be him. So, no Palisand, which means both switches out are completely free, nothing to punish me from U turning as well. I mean, I, I could lead Moltres, because the only thing that really threatens it out is Terrakion, and I guess Toxapex. Or we could lead Batman, or excuse me, not Batman. I think I'm just gonna... Uh, none of these get rock coverage, right? Scissor doesn't get rock coverage. Those why it's Yeah, I'm just leading the trust and see what he goes for. Celebi. So Celebi could ancient power me. <laughs> and because this is um victory stars, I'm going to check if an ancient power <laughs> actually kills me. because uh, it could very well be ancient power. Oh jeez, Ancient Power could actually kill me, oof. Do I have to risk it? I really don't. I mean, I could still, like, roost on Toxapex and Forgers. I mean, it's a, it's a 12 percent to poke hole, but it's only life orb Celebi, I'm going to U-turn. Okay, he U-turns as well. Burn? <laughs> okay, there's life orb. Goes to the Toxapex. We go into the Gothitelle. So. 
Hydrating doesn't get Ice Beam, right? Right? Hydrating doesn't get Ice Beam. It would be very odd to me if Hydrating got Ice Beam. It gets Ice Fang. He's not gonna work Ice Fang Hydrating for my Glyscore. Because I am very certain that he is, in fact, a... Um... Thingy. It could be Dragon Dance. Dragon Dance would be scary. Yeah, Dragon Core Dance. 70 to 80. After one, we want it. If it's specs or rather right, Life Orb. Yeah, let's look at Life Orb. Uh, Life Orb. Yeah, Life Orb Dark Ball is to chaos us. Yeah, Moltres takes it better. But Moltres can't um, recover in time. So I'm going to signal beam once. Yeah, I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it, you <laughs> I told you to. <laughs> To run Fetcher, to remember. <laughs> I know, you sneaky little bastard. <laughs> yeah, but I called it. <laughs> okay, so Hydrating. We did a decent chunk. 35 to 41. We did 37. Please life orb and dark balls to chaos me. Hmm. The problem is I don't want him to mess it. I have to make a decision. Do I go into a Batman or into a Hall? Or do I my balls and go straight into a low pony? I can't go into Alamomola because Alamomola lets a uh, Tox Apex for free. I mean, it could be Head Smash. It could be Physical, of course. I mean. How badly do I need Moltres? Because... I mean, Moltres is my best check for Hydrating. I'm gonna go Moltres. Okay, that is unfortunate. Sorry for that. U-turn does a good chunk and we are slower, so we go for the U-turn here. She so goes back to the Tox Packs. We go into the good old cobbles a lot. I'm going to signal beam here. <laughs> go into your grass type. I dare you. Go into your grass type. If he stays in and calls it, very good play. But also very brave to do so. Scissor, okay. And we just go back to Moltres. I don't see why we shouldn't. If he U-turns me, he, he um, risks the burn. And the only mod that threatens out my Moltres is Terrakion, and on Terrakion we just go to Gliscor. I don't wanna risk, because he could be faster if he has speed. 
You're risking the burn. Don't you turn when there's a flame body mod on the other side. Why don't people get that? You need to be more careful. I mean, if he has heal but on Celebi or Florges, then I guess it's fine. But Jesus, people, you can't just you turn freely when there's a flame body mod. <laughs> Why do people not get it? Just don't you turn. The switch is so obvious. So he goes into talk to things. How much damage does a talk to pegs do? Uh, actually, I don't know if you are physically or specially defensive. Um, I'm gonna use a lot of breathing. You turn to four percent. So you could be physically defensive because it's within the rule. So if we go on the score does 80 to 22. We don't want to go into Gliscor. We don't want to go into Low Pony. We can't go into Goethe because of the trick. A lot. Knock off, that's okay. We don't do it KO the floor just now, but yeah, I'm a whole switch here. Because whole switch doesn't damage to everything, yep, he goes into the scissor. We do a lot of damage. Downside to it, so I'm just going to U turn predicting the pack switch. Because if he has heal bell, then throwing out scissor isn't good. I don't mean I had it, there's no downside because if you roost, I just go into Moltres and U turn again, or go into Gliscor. No, Gliscor doesn't do. Goes into Toxic Packs. We U turn, we go back and do Carbon Zanard. Then you click again the wall switch. problematic mind game for him because if he goes floor just then I'm going to trap that with my golf turn and trick it. I think that's why he doesn't go he isn't going floor just. If he goes high dragon I don't go low pony because it could be still scarf. Okay he's sex is or Going this score to activate my toxic orb. So Moltres gets another kill. The dragon comes in. Okay, so High Dragon worries me a little bit. He 
do kill a substitute. Draco doesn't kill me. We outspeed Toxapex Apex and we should outspeed um, Flojas. So it's just safe to just use turn here. He rules, okay, so he isn't fast. Are you bulky? 32. Oh, it was a min roll. That's sad. He doesn't oko me with anything, right? Didn't show left though, so he might be life warp still. Yeah, and with life of Draco is a chance to kill. So I'm going to U-turn. If he stays in, I'm gonna U-turn into Arlo. <gasps> oh, <laughs> wonderful trick! Yes. Very seed. Ooh, that's clever, but you are still tricked. So I don't care. Ooh. Damn. Nice tech. Oh, crap. Proud of you. That is nice tech. I'm proud of you. Going to signal me. Okay, okay, goes into Rakion. And we have a glide score for that. Okay. I mean, just earthquake. I don't recall that Tarakian has anything to hurt me with. If he goes out ring, I just go or something. Oh, okay, he stayed in. Okay. Feels sad for him because his team really isn't good here. Yeah, now you can click return here and do some really big damage on something. Go some toxic packs. Oh, I'm, I'm Jesus! I'm so sorry. But that just means I can U-turn and get the cobbles allowed. Because if he recovers, then that's a free switch in my cards that are the up. Now I click bolt switch. Please type. Wow. I feel genuinely bad. How much damage would a 98 to 116. Wait, that's without. Five to eighty nine. <gasps> okay, I'm genuinely sad. But well, now I'm genuinely sad.
Not like. Didn't return kill even. Let's see if I got mineral. How much health did you have? 93. I feel generally bad. Yeah, I think he gives up. Which is totally fair. Not much I can say, it was a really bad matchup for him and the crits. I really don't know what to do now. I got nothing to say, I'm generally sad and upset now. And I don't know how to handle it. So Yeah. Oh, I'll see you in the next video guys.